Hi everyone, so back for another video and I'm going to be doing a tutorial this time. I've already done this sort of tutorial before, <clears throat> but I'm going to do it again. This one's going to be a more recent tutorial on how to boil wash this expression, Kanekuan braiding hair. Um, this hair right here was the pre-stretched kind, so I did have to cut it so that the hair would all be one length because it's easier to root hair into a doll head when it's all one length so but I'm going to show you how to prep this hair for um, at least this is the pre-stretched kind I've already got a tutorial on a different hair color like this um, the hair color I did that was the same hair fiber as this was called deep violet so, and I did that tutorial a while back, but this one's going to be a little different. So I'm going to start with like brushing, the, well actually no. What I'm going to want to do is take this, when you get this hair new, it's got like this rubber band, you want to get rid of that. And I'm going to replace it with a much stronger hair tie to keep everything nice and neat. So yeah, so I'm basically going to break this one. You could cut it with a pair of scissors or whatever. Okay, so now that hair tie is out. So I will take the new hair tie going to make sure both the sides are completely separated. Okay, and excuse the messy table. This is the dining room table and I live with two, I live with my family and they have two kids and they're very messy and they don't clean up after themselves. So that's why the table is so messy. So yeah, the, you can see like there's paint and nail polish and all kinds of gunk all over this thing. But it is a surface to work on, so. Take whatever I can get. It's a nice well, mostly clear space for me to work on, so. Okay, so it's a little bit fiddly, a little bit tedious to uh, tie the hair, but you basically want to tie it multiple times. So I'm going to grab onto this end and pull. There we go. So I wrapped it around like, I want to say four times. So now you have the new one in the middle. And so now I'm just going to be brushing the hair out. Just to get any, yeah, so I'm gonna move that, bring it down, strap the ends. I'm using this pet brush to do it because it's wonderful at detangling hair. Let's see if I got both of those. Yeah, I do have them lined up. But yeah, you just basically want to brush it until there's no more tangles. You could use what I did use once when I first brushed this specific hair, like this hank of hair out, is I um, used a styling head, like a brush, one of those really big Barbie brushes that came with a Barbie styling head, and that worked fine.
But yeah, you just basically need to make sure it's all sleek. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what the hair should look like all brushed out. If you get the really big packs of this, it's going to be all like braided and stuff. And it's going to be really like, super long. So I'll include a link to my other tutorial if you want to see that one. And that one I actually had a, uh, the, uh, a uh, pack of hair that wasn't pre-stretched. And it was like super, super, super long. But this one, the pre-stretched hair, it comes with two of these in it. So, at least the one that I got had two already in it, so. But yeah, this is by the brand Expression. And you want to make sure that you get the hair that has the really teeny tiny little crimpies in it. And it's way shinier and stuff like that. If you shine the light up to it and it's really shiny, then you know you've got the good Kanekalon hair. Um, I've used other kinds of Kanekalon braiding hair, but it's like straw. Basically, it feels like hay or grass or straw or something like that. It's very dry. It doesn't feel very nice. I mean, you can reroute with it, but it and it gets the job done, but it doesn't feel that nice. And it's not as shiny as this either, so. And that stuff's usually the cheaper kind that's like $1.99 or something. I've seen it go for more on, like, online and stuff. But you'll recognize that kind of Kanekalon hair by the, uh, it's, it'll have, like, bigger crimpies in it. And they'll all be uneven, so it'll make the hair look kind of wiry. So that's the stuff that you don't want. You want this kind that has a teensy tiny little micro crimps in it. So yeah. <clears throat> like I said, I have rerouted with the other stuff. And it gets the job done, but it's not as shiny and smooth as this. So now I'm going to take you all over and we're going to get the hair wet. So we have our bowl of water. You just need a little bit. I usually just do it at the sink, but the sink is a nightmare and I'm not showing you guys that because there's lots of dirty dishes in there. So not a pleasant sight. So I just filled up this bottle or this bottle, this bowl of water, but you can get the hair wet in the sink, but I'm just doing it this way so that you don't have to see a nightmare that is our kitchen sink right now. You just want to get it saturated. And yeah, so the next step is putting conditioner in the hair. So I will try to set this up somewhere and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got a little situation going on here that I was able to set it up, but I'm going to get my conditioner. This is the kind that I'm using. You can use any kind, really. I used to wash, like, shampoo the hair beforehand, but um, the hair isn't dirty or anything, so I don't, you don't really have to do that. You can if you want, but I don't do it anymore because I don't think that it's necessary. I'm going to get like a few squirts of conditioner and work it through the hair. So yeah, like two, I've got the, the pump, so I, I squirted it like, I squirted the pump like, like I pushed down on it two, two times. So that's how much I got. And you basically just want to get it all over the hair. And you can see I'm going down like I'm going from the top and I'm going down like that. And then I'm like kind of squeezing the hair to work it in. Actually, I will go get that little Barbie brush that I was talking about. 
Okay, so I've taken the you don't know you don't need the water, the bowl of water anymore. So now you're just gonna get your little Barbie brush. This is this came with a styling head and you're just gonna brush whoops. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I was combing the hair and then it hooked on to something and knocked everything out of place, so I'm just gonna continue, I'll just have to edit that. So you just want to brush the hair, brush the conditioner all the way through, turn it over, I don't know if you can even see what I am doing. Yeah, I've literally got this sitting on paper towels right now. And the paper towels keep photobombing. <clears throat> but anyway, you get the gist. You just brush all the conditioner through. And you will want to turn off some stragglers. I've actually got some Barbie scissors. These came with my 2002 cut and style Barbie. Well, we will be trimming off the stragglers. Because that makes it a lot easier to run the brush through. Now I'll be back with my boiling water. But yeah, that's basically what the hair should look like after you are done brushing it. And just to show you guys, I put it in there for around, well it was at 6.30 minutes, but now it's here. So my water is being heated up in the microwave. So I used to do this in a pot on the stove <clears throat> but I don't do that anymore so I find it's way too tedious and you could also risk burning yourself and all that so yeah it does keep the hot the water hotter longer but this is just what you gotta do see so I'll come back when my water is done Okay, so this should be kind of a magical moment right here. I, my water was like boiling in the microwave, so it was like bubbling. And Okay, so I've got my bowl of water here. So if all goes well, this should be a rather magical experience um, of this hair getting boil washed. So any, anyway, without further ado, for anything else goes wrong I've already had to like start and stop this video multiple times so without further ado in goes the hair and you see that texture that it was so yeah this water was literally bubbling in the microwave And look at how much it deflated. This is Kanekalon hair. Kanekalon braiding hair. And it didn't frizz up or anything like that. It didn't go poof. None of that. And that is some super hot water right there. So now I'm going to leave that in there, I'm going to go get, I'm going to set this up, and then I shall return and brush this out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take all this hair out of the water. I'm 
let it drip for a little bit. I'm gonna have to boil wash it again because I didn't get all the crimpies out. Usually it does. Okay. So I'm just gonna brush it out a little bit. I usually hold the hair up like in the air and brush it out like after this, like after I lay it down. Yeah, I'm gonna boil the water again. But as you can see, it's much, much smoother. Like, look at this. And the, the brush only got stuck like one time just now. So I'm gonna brush it out the rest of the way. I'm basically just sticking the hair on my body. So this is like my shirt right here. I'm just sticking it on. Like holding the hair up to me as like a flat surface. And I'm just brushing down to get all the knots and tangles out. Oh yeah. So this is what the hair looks like after the first boil wash treatment. You can see the top is still the original texture, but that's because the water wasn't hot enough. So I'm going to do it again. Probably just going to throw it in there for 3 minutes and 50 seconds. And we will be back. Okay, so once again, our water is boiling. So now we are going to try again. Hopefully this should get all the crimpies out. Oh yeah, that just instantly did it. Yeah, the water literally needs to be boiling. So, so if you can look how sleek that is now. Oh yeah. So now I'm going to move the, uh, the hair tie over to the side. If I can, it's kind of stuck. So I'm just going to there <clears throat> so I moved the hair tie out of the way to expose this part that hasn't gotten um, straightened out yet so and watch this here we go and bam with literally and within a matter of seconds So the hair is going to need to be brushed. So I'm going to move the uh, hair tie back to where it was so I can make the hair nice and even again. <coughs> so I'm going to dip it in a few more times. But yeah, basically, what I'm doing right now is I am just dunking the hair in, pulling it out, using the brush on it to straighten out any little um, tingly bits, I guess you would say, so that the hair doesn't look all warped. So I'm just going to keep doing that.
I'm just going to blow on the hair. Okay. Now this should work. So now you can see how much more that hair has deflated. So yeah, sometimes you have to do this more than one time. Sometimes you will get strands of hair that will catch on. But yeah, the hair is basically, basically done now. I'm going to go rinse it in some cold water. Really fast. So now that should set the hair in place. And yeah, I love this brush because it just sleek everything out makes it super nice I'm not gonna keep you guys but afterward I usually apply more conditioner rinse that out and then it makes it super duper soft so yeah this is how that connect one hair braiding this is what it looks like now not a single little crimpy left in it it is super shiny and glossy as you can see and this is Kanekalon hair it looks a lot like high quality nylon now but it is Kanekalon hair so anyhow thank you guys for watching this little messy tutorial it wasn't the most professional but hopefully you got um, a general idea on how to do this <clears throat> take this uh, Kanekalon braiding hair and uh, turn it into actual hair for rerooting dolls. This is basically the stuff that doll companies used to use. American Girl dolls have, um, this is basically like a wig type of uh, Kanekalon. That's also the same thing that... Um, American Girl dolls are rooted with, or not rooted, but like, that's what their wefts are made with, is um, for the wig, that's what the wigs that they have glued on, the little hair wefts that they've glued on, or sewn on to the wig cap, that they've made the wig with, has this hair fiber, so, so yeah, Except I think this hair is a little bit shinier than what that stuff is. But yeah, connect on hair. That's the end result. It's very sleek and shiny. And now it's ready to use. So thank you guys for watching. More videos to come. And remember to stay true to you.